guys, starting in a semi-familiar place, we are going to be going over my bushcrafting essentials. And that is because definitely here in Alaska, there are some essentials that you definitely need when you're going out bushcrafting, when you're going out into the woods uh, to do bushcraft. There are a handful of essentials that I always like to have on me. And I want to do is start out here but we're going to go over to the field or we're actually going to go into the field and uh, go over the essentials there more deeply but without any further ado guys please do not forget to comment like share and subscribe to see more awesome fun and interesting alaskan content like this now let's get into it okay guys okay guys so like i mentioned today we're going to be talking about my bushcraft essentials. Now I've done my EDC essentials, but that's another video. So let's jump right into what I consider my essentials for bushcraft. <clears throat> so the first is a really solid and heavy duty backpack. Mine is the Camelback Lynchpin. It has been for a few years, but overall what I look for is a backpack that can suit all my needs, carry what I need to carry, still have a little bit of room for extra stuff just in case. And then most importantly, be have the ability to be comfortable while carrying the loadout that you want to carry. So the Camelback Lynchpin really works for me. I really haven't had a need to go to anything else. So moving now onto the, the other pack that I tend to carry, it's back here, more on this side, and that is my Janus, my Expedition Janus pocket extension. And that's basically my personal survival kit. It's what I carry to make sure that I'm prepared for whatever happens. Should I be separated from my main pack or should I just need to have survival essentials? So the next thing I carry on body is <clears throat> my, my knife. And this ranges largely. I have multiple different knives throughout the pack and stuff. But for the most part, what I look for in a knife is it just being solid, being stout. I can baton with it, or I should be able to baton with it. I should be able to strike a ferro rod with it, and preferably I should be able to have a sheath that can carry a ferro rod, just like this Bark River Knives Aurora allows me to do. So like I said, this is the Bark River Knives Aurora, and that's what I'm rocking for a knife, but honestly, I just want a solid belt knife, and that is an essential. Not always a neck knife, but having a really solid belt knife like this is an essential. So next to that, <clears throat> on the other side actually, because I've gone over those two, is a handgun. And I don't always carry a rifle, but I do always carry a gun. This is a Ruger, ah, Ruger Blackhawk in 41 Rem Mag. And <clears throat> I want to make sure that I always have a gun for personal defense. Sometimes I do carry a rifle, especially if I'm going out for multiple days and I'm putting a key emphasis on hunting then I will generally carry a rifle, but regardless to if I have a rifle or not, I always have a handgun, and generally I try and carry magnums or very powerful handguns when I'm out here so that I can defend myself if I need to from large threats. <clears throat> so as the adventure dogs run all over the place. Now, going into a couple of the last fire starting here. So now going into a couple of the last parts is fire starting. And for me, for my diehard fire starter is my um, Exotac Nano Striker XL, which is this little ferro rod here. It usually sits on my neck, as you guys can see, just like this. And then uh, fly. You know it's winter time, or it's, you know it's springtime when there's flies. So anyways, I generally carry for fire starting a Exotac Nano Striker XL, and then they'll usually have a lighter of sorts. This one is actually a little bit different. This is a non-fueled uh, lighter, and so, well, kind of a fuel, but it's a non-fire lighter, and it's electric lighter, and this is by UST, and uh, it's called the Tech Fire, and overall, it's a really neat lighter. We'll be doing more videos on the Tech Fire here soon, but I just throw that in my pocket along with so I just throw that in my pocket for fire starting, just have the lanyard kind of sitting out in case I need it. And then like I said, my ferro rod for just good old classical fire starting with the ferro rod. So anyways guys, those are basically the essentials of my bushcrafting kit or what I make sure I always have on my body. And or try to always have when going out into the woods in Alaska because Alaska is a bit of a crazy place and you want to make sure that you have the adequate preparations so that you will survive out here and not die. Anyways guys, that's all for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's kind of spicing it up and getting back into the woods like I've had many requests to do. 
And that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.